we got some more apocalyptic news regarding the, I guess, anime industry from GB. Japan forced to censor manga by Western companies or they lose everything. I wonder exactly what they're censoring, but it probably has to do with just fan service and normal things that happen in Japan that we don't really think twice about, but because of anime going mainstream, manga going mainstream, and having Western ideologies contrast against Japanese fan service, I guess they're trying to censor shit. Devastating and heartbreaking news that came out earlier this morning from the offer of Love Hina. This is their official Twitter account. Love Hina is rom-com? Harem show? I've heard of it, I think. Isn't that a really old show? So this is uh, just blatant censorship. Like, just straight up censorship. Like, Western companies are forcing Japan to bow down and censor not just anime and manga to be viewed overseas, but you literally censor the content at its very source. And that sucks. And I think Japan should just say, fuck you, we're pulling out. But that's not good business. And in terms of, I, and I don't know, does Japan need this? Does the manga industry need Western distribution to keep that shit alive? I don't do statistical analysis for that kind of stuff. But it's not as if this is like, it, it's just the way it is, right? The Western companies can basically do whatever they want, but... Anything that has to do with censorship is just so cringe and it sets up bad precedence to what they can censor in the future. This is just tragic. It's tragedy itself because you, people like to believe like maybe Japan will never censor themselves and the only time you'll ever see censorship is like through like maybe when it's distributed overseas, like mm. in, let's say in the United States or Europe or something, we get the censored version. And if you want to watch the original cut, like cut of the version, you'll have to go to Japan Blu-ray DVD or something. translation group, maybe translator or something, but you theoretically could get an uncensored version of it. But this right here, this official... Yeah, even like High School DxD when it was airing, there was like a censored and an uncensored version, and maybe they show the ones without nipples in Western audiences, I'm not sure. The post that was made by Ken, aka the author of Love Hina, pretty much has Western companies forcing their ideology and their viewpoints and everything on Japan at its very source and basically backing out to where they cannot make any money. This Bruh. is... This is honestly an ongoing story that's been happening for the last few years now. It's been an ongoing battleground, actually, with card companies in Japan and censorship. Yeah, not even just anime and manga, but video games as well. I remember some video game characters having to get their, you know, female character design censored because the woke Western ideology mind saying, hot girl's not allowed, how dare you show some of that skin? I even saw that one interview where the Japanese people were like, just saying, like, it is so fucking annoying that the hogs overseas are doing this and we gotta work this on those business partners. This is so cringe. I agree. This is cringe. And you might have heard about the story recently, actually. About six months ago, maybe seven months ago, I made a video talking about, like, Pixiv and even DL site facing issues with... <laughs> Ain't this the guy from Fate Unlimited Blade Works? What the f... Fuck, welcome to visual novels. Okay. Card companies and how these card companies were just basically playing ball. Like, they were, like, they were playing, you know, very, like, mean. Like, for instance, if they didn't remove content, like, if DL site or Pixiv didn't remove certain content, these card companies like Visa and MasterCard would pull themselves off the site. That's crazy. And that's huge. These are, you know, Visa, MasterCard, these are not no-name brands. These are... These are literal fucking credit card companies that everybody uses. And they no longer would be able to have any form of payments. And to Holy. kind of simplify this in the best way, basically, if you are someone that wants to make a purchase, obviously you might use a Visa card, a MasterCard, you get the point, debit, credit card, you get the point. And um, if these card companies no longer support said site, and that is the main form of payment that that site takes, obviously they're not going to be able to make money. So think about it like this. There is a store, sells manga. The only form of payment they can accept is, obviously, since it's online, it's an online site, they accept Visa and MasterCard. And if those two companies are like, we don't like your content, we don't want to support this content, they pull out, well, obviously, that means that site no longer can make money, so... No. Well, it's seeming like it, but you know what's happening in my entrepreneurial mind? I think that this is an opportunity for someone completely new to come in and offer the service that these mainstream credit card companies won't. And I don't know how to fuck, you know, credit card companies and payment processing, you know, the legal, the, the laws around it. But like, 
it'd be cool if there could be some other solution, some other person shows up with their own payment processing plan and addresses this solution and they get super rich out of it. Effectively, they die. The site just straight up dies. And the reason why these card companies are doing it is because they want Japan to censor themselves. They don't like certain content that's on there, like certain fan service content and stuff like that. And so they want Japan to self-censor itself before these companies could even put their payment, like their card information stuff on the said site. So, it's pretty messed up. This is something that's been ongoing for a while now with, like, DL Site and Pixiv. For instance, Pixiv has, like, a lot of artists and stuff on it, while a lot DL of fan Site service. is a site that has a lot of visual novels. A lot of, like, you know, Japanese creators make, let's say, RPG Nekopara. maker games or visual novel games. They're hosted on the site, and obviously, you know, there, there's a lot of, let's say, 18 plus content Eroge. on the site, and Visa and MasterCard have effectively pulled out. But the story gets a lot worse than that. It's not just Visa and MasterCard that's theoretically pulling out of the site, or out of these sites now. It's also the main Japanese card company pulling out of these sites. And Ken himself even talks about this, and even in this post as well, this is a Google translation of the official Japanese post from the site. But basically, um... There is a brand, uh, like a card company that's like Japanese something, like... I, I forget what it's called. But there is a credit card company in japan okay. that has you know their own card and stuff and they cool. have also pulled out of the site of manga z and they're starting to kind of follow suit with other sites as well and this pretty much means that this card no i don't think like you say that another company can come in and charge more than visa and mastercard were and the site has to say yes where they'll close down for sure if you assume there's only being going to be one competitor but it's a free market and there's no monopoly and there's no regulations to keep out other competitors coming in. If it's a healthy competition, simply other competitors will also show up with their payment processing plan and have market rates that will compete with other people offering that same sort of you know, payment processing plan. I think that supply and demand in a free market, it'll correct itself in an ideal world. But how realistic is that, that these different you know, services just pop up out of nowhere and offer their solution right now? Not very card company is most likely bowing down to the will of Visa and MasterCard to be able to continue to operate and do business. So what is the solution here? Well, to be honest with you, they're really... I guess you gotta censor. I mean, right now, I, I think the smartest thing to do is to censor this shit and keep their cash flows going with, you know, MasterCard and Visa still plugged in, but not give up. Then look out for different ways where we can do payment processing without Visa and MasterCard, right? And then you can then go back to not censoring. But I don't know if that solution is really practical. I don't have a solution. I don't really know exactly what Ken could really do besides what he kind of lays out in this post, but also in the official post here, that the only way this, for the site and these other sites to continuously operate is through either crowdfunding from the people around or through donations, because if these card companies do not want to play ball, and basically they don't allow payments, then these sites just can't operate. You can't keep the lights on if you're not making money. That's the truth. So, it's sad, because this all stems back around to censorship, and that these companies are just wanting to force their ideology for their own companies onto Japan. Yeah, and it's not that these companies also give a fuck about anime titties being shown to everyone else. I don't think anyone has like a moral, like these censorship doesn't happen due to like moralities and ethics. It's all just money and whatever person or entity is ordering these DEI inclusiveness and censorship, right? It's all about that. If this was not a concern, I guarantee you, right? I guarantee you that if this, it wasn't a thing, if there was no like, you know, someone like pushing these companies to like censor, uh, to like um, say like you need to censor this shit or we're pulling out. If no one was saying that, they wouldn't do it themselves out of some sort of like moral like compass. And have them censor the stuff at the very source. So let's talk about this for a second and kind of what this really does mean. And it's very easy for a long time now people to be like, oh, if content is censored, okay, you know, it's only censored in the West. In Europe, United States, you get the point. And, you know, you can actually see the uncensored version if you maybe go online because obviously Japan has its own uncensored version. But now that's also changing because if the payment processing plans, again, they pull out, then even like what's online, they can't operate. That was how it was meant to be. But the thing is, is with these card companies now being very heavy handed and really pushing their thoughts and feelings and ideology onto Japan, 
it's forcing Japan offers and these companies in Japan to self-censor themselves at the very source to where it won't just affect, like, how anime are in Western societies, but also just how it is in Japan. For instance, offers no longer will be able to maybe have a lot of fan service or certain ways characters are drawn, maybe a character being beautiful, it won't be allowed because of how these card companies are currently acting. So... And you might think that this is stupid and pointless because, oh, boo-hoo, you gooners, right? Who cares if the bus size cleavage stuff gets censored? You guys are such degenerates. No, it's not about the anime titties. I always go with this because there's always the same talking points, the same people that think, like, if something's being censored, that it's not a big deal because, you know, if y'all just wanted to fucking get off to anime girls, there's other sites for that. It's not about that. It's this mining canary, right? It's this precedence that it sets for the future if they can get away with this what else can they censor that's the worry this is going to have a ripple effect on japan and its culture and just how anime is created going forward and manga as well it's legitimately sad this is just straight up tragedy this is basically the culture of japan being trampled upon and being forced to change because obviously it doesn't fit the ideology of certain, you know, companies, etc., and their agendas. It's gross stuff, man. It, it is legitimately gross. What's even sadder about this whole ordeal is that those companies don't actually care about morals or ethics. They're just doing this because the advertisers will pull out. It's just fucking money. This, um, this site, Manga Z, that is being shut down, according to the information, Manga okay. Z was a free distribution like site for manga, for you could read manga in Japan and stuff. I'm assuming the purchases that were made were probably for like uh, merchandise and stuff like that for the series support. But it more or less was a site for the fans. It was for the community of manga, people that love manga and anime. And that's what it was for. And it's being forced to basically shut itself down. Ken also is a very well known and prolific our offer and artist in japan he is the creator of love hina and i know in this day and age there's a lot of new fans that might not be oh you know aware yeah i never seen it i have heard of it though tv special 2000 and wonder when the manga came out this is like a super super old legacy series right of love hina and its overall cultural impact but Love Hina really is an impactful and cultural, uh, culturally successful series that really made way for, like, for instance, like, the romance, rom-com, harem genre. It is very iconic. It is something that legitimately is, uh, has inspired hundreds upon hundreds, maybe thousands upon thousands of creators in Japan to write their stories. And so seeing the author, Ken, having to basically self-censor themselves and censor the the actual, like, site, it's devastating, man. I, I hate seeing this. It legitimately makes me extremely sad. It just makes me extremely sad, honestly, all things considered, because it's like, I hate seeing an author having to go through this or just anybody, honestly. It is very sad. But also, remember that example of Blue Archive in Korea, where they were trying to censor all these different gacha games and artists and, you know, characters, but the senseis in Korea, they all, you know, they all united. The monkeys united, and they gaslit the corporation and just saying, this shit's corrupt, there's something going on. And then they did an investigation, it turned out there was a lot of bribery and corruption happening internally to how they were trying to plan the censorship. And ever since then, it's just been... Booba everywhere, right? There's pretty much as anime girls titties, do whatever you want. Fan service just goes rampant. If only something similar could happen for situations like this. Um, yeah, so this is an ongoing campaign of censorship that's been happening for a while now, and, uh, this post is just really devastating news. I hope that something is worked out, I hope that, uh, there's a crowdfunding or whatever, because if I'm able to crowdfund, I'll try to help out myself. I- I just- I, I hate seeing this, man. This is this is messed up. This is legitimately messed up. I hate seeing, like, literally uh, just how, at the very source, Japan is having to censor itself now. I'll leave it at that, though. Thank you so much for watching. They all times are changing, and as times are changing, more and more people have their different ideologies that they want to impose on others. And this doesn't happen just in anime and manga. happens in the video game industry constantly, but... You get to see exactly what happens with, let's say, Ubisoft, right? Or other companies where they think that they have the right idea of what the modern audience should be. They go on censoring all this fan service to create a product that just is not well received by the audience. And then the market kind of corrects itself and they go down and new heads pop up. And maybe it is an idealistic uh, expectations that a different payment processing, you know, provider will show up instead of, you know, MasterCard and Visa. But then it's just like, 
what is the likelihood of the greater market adopting that one service out of nowhere just for this shit like this? It's, it's not really realistic, but sad to see censorship happen. Say keep fighting, and if people are saying, like, it's not a big deal, it's just anime titties getting censored, just stop thinking like that and realize that it has nothing to do with that. But if this happens, what kind of precedence is set for the future? Thank you, Chibi, for the updates on censorship and anime and manga across the world. Please go give the video a like. Check out his channel. Here's a link. And I'll see you next time.